and then like when you're making a, a, a movie or a film or something, some type of cinema or even a comic book or even a graphic novel, you got to have a villain. You got to have someone that's a, a person that's a good, a good person. You got to have a reason why that person's a villain. You got to have a reason why that person's a good person. You have to have them like an origin story on how they got to that land or how they got to that planet or you know if you're doing a western how he found the horse how he lost the horse you know it it has to be based on that area or that world that you're writing about even if it's about outer space they, they can be in outer space and their spaceship crashed on a alien planet and they don't know what is on that planet whether it's humanoids or whether it's dinosaurs, you know, you can write anything. When you're writing, you can write anything. But see, when you're writing a novel or you're writing a... When you're writing a novel or if you're writing a book, you... You have to find out who you want to live and who you want to die. I know some people don't want to kill off their character, but that's a part of writing. Some, If you're writing a story that's, it could be a fiction story, but it has to be lifelike. So some people may age or some people may get diseases or they might some some people might get on drugs or you know some people might uh have died from even an accident or you know other things or natural causes they could have died of natural causes but um we got to have somebody that dies in the uh story whether it's the hero whether it's the villain whether it's the villain's family member or whether it's the hero's family member to make the suspense or make the story have some type of story to it. It has to be a hero's journey as well, where the character is, they are in the story, they lose things, they gain things, they gain knowledge, they gain wisdom. They go to war, they fight, sometimes they lose, sometimes they win, then they win, and then they go back to a better place, and then you can put the the end. Some people end their stories with a tragedy, and they say the end. Some people end the story, but they don't end it. They will say to be continued, meaning they're going to, continue it so they may make they may have made the villain or the evil person win a few times they might have won two or three times but then near the end they might make the the hero or the person that is the righteous person or the wise person in the story win you know some people like to make the villains win they like to make like a lot of the heroes die in the story and then they have the villain get more powerful and more stronger and then the people are un- they are more oppressed because the villain is so powerful and then the people that supposed to be the heroes they are weaker and weaker but then some people that write stories they like to write a happy ending where the people win at the end where the villain or the evil person, they disappear or they go away and then all the people celebrate and they party and they're happy. But see, some people like to write the story to be more closer to life where sometimes the villain, sometimes the villain wins. Sometimes the villainess wins. Sometimes the female villain wins. Sometimes the male villain wins, you know. But 
a lot of people that do like cartoons or comic books, they might have the villain win a few times, but then like the the last chapter, they may make it so the villain loses. The villain going to lose his throne and lose his crown and lose his kingdom and lose his powers and all the people celebrate, you know? So, like, when you're doing cinema, you got to look at the different cam- camera angles. You got to look at the shadows. You may have to have equipment that can make shadows. Then you got to have equipment that can make light, whether it's in the daytime or at night, and have certain actors and actress actresses, male actors and female actors, to act the roles in the part. Or you can just uh, do a graphic novel and draw, if you do art, draw and make a comic book with the different characters. Have people that are villains in it, have people that are people that are wise, have people that are the heroes in it, have have some type of storyline that makes sense. You have to find out what audience is going to appeal to your story because there's certain audiences that may be younger. They might be teenagers. They might be uh, more mature. They might be people in their 30s or people in their 40s, people in their 50s, because your storyline might be so mature that adults will relate to it. And be patient when you're doing the stories. Take your time when you're doing the stories. If you have equipment where you can use your use your camera, use your recording device, and you can actually make a short story, a short film. And be patient with the people. Let the people act. Don't be a dictator with the people, but tell them how you want them to stand and how you want them to conduct themselves. Have someone to uh, dress them. You can dress them if you are keen with fashion or you are wise and intelligent with fashion on how you want the story to look like. The area, you have to find an area to be at that will complement how you want the story to be, you know? That's how you have to do it. You just have to be patient. Everything takes time. And also look at movie directors. Read about movie directors. Look at movie directors' movies. Look at how they how they put their movies together. Look at it from the beginning to the end. Look at the camera angles. Look at how, how they conducted themselves when they the, the actors, how they moved and how they dressed. And you can find a a niche or a way that you can make your own movie. You can have it as a comedy. You can have it as a horror movie. You can have it as a drama. Or you can have it as a love story. Thank you for listening. If you want to hear more, please like and subscribe and those who 
subscribed to this channel. We highly appreciate it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.